Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is July 25th. This episode is related to Ehang. In this episode, we are going to share our observations and comments about the 6th Drone World Congress 2022 and special forum topics and content that may be relevant to Ehang. For Ehang fans and investors, besides understanding Ehang, we may also need to keep abreast of the electric aviation development, particularly through relevant conferences. First, some introduction to the conference that has just ended. From July 23rd to 24th, the 6th Drone World Congress 2022 was held in Shenzhen. The theme of the conference is Future E comes, fly over the dream. It is noted, the E here in the theme title has double meanings. By wording, the E here means electric-powered aircraft or aviation. By pronunciation, in Chinese, the sound E means already. In other words, the theme implies the future electric aviation has already come, fly over the dream. Due to the impact of the pandemic, the main forum and 12 parallel forums of the conference were held online and offline. A total of more than 4,000 industry experts, scholars, and entrepreneurs from more than 30 countries and regions participated in the online and offline meetings. The conference was hosted by China Electronic Information Industry Federation Nanshan District Government of Shenzhen City Government Procurement Center of Ministry of Industry and Information Technology UAV Application and Control Research Center of Chinese Academy of Sciences and China Civil Airport Association and organized by Shenzhen Nanshan District Bureau of Industry and Information Technology and Shenzhen UAV Industry Association The 12 special forums include the topics of UAV Cutting Edge Technology Urban Air Mobility UAM Low Altitude Sky Road Construction Artificial intelligence robots, smart cars, low-speed autonomous vehicles, and autonomous boats or water systems. And etc. Next, about domestic civil UAV industry. Domestic civil UAV industry. Introduction by former CAAC Deputy Director. According to Li Jian, former CAAC Deputy Director, in his speech. For logistics. SF Express, JD.com, Meituan, Sanyao. Zhongtong and other drone logistics models are becoming more and more mature, and they have launched business in more than 10 provinces and cities. Note, Ehang is also strong in logistics. But, currently, the resources and time have been mainly dedicated to the highest priority project of EH-216 type certification. For consumer drones, Shenzhen DJI is the global leader. For passenger AAVs, Ehang is the global leader and has obtained trial flight licenses for its AAV in nine countries including China, the United Arab Emirates, the United States, Canada and Japan, etc. Technology and Transportation Integration With the rapid development of Internet of Things technology, autonomous system products have provided services for the integrated industrial chain of sea, land and air. Autonomous aerial vehicles, autonomous vehicles, autonomous ships, etc. cooperate closely, so as to give full play to the advantages of their respective fields and achieve the role of learning from each other's strengths, forming a new supply chain system and moving towards the direction of intelligence development. Today, autonomous systems are everywhere. Users' mobile phone cloud app software scans the code to shop. Logistics drones quickly deliver packages. Automatic drone inspection of power lines. Autonomous ground vehicles directly deliver goods to your door. Anti-pandemic robot automatic disinfection and pandemic prevention. Autonomous boat water search and rescue, etc. According to Yang Jin Kai, executive chairman of the World UAV Conference in his speech. In 2021. Rapid growth in 2021. As the most important industrial base for civil drones in the world, China has maintained rapid growth in 2021. 12,000 UAV companies in the country. There are more than 12,000 drone companies in the country. Total industry output value of 87 billion yuan. Consumer grade drones account for 70% of global market share. Industrial grade drones account for 50% of global market share. This year, the output value of the domestic UAV industry is expected to exceed 100 billion yuan this year. Next, about special forum for low-altitude airspace. Low-altitude airspace is very important for UAV development and operation. 
there was a special forum dedicated to the discussions of low airspace. Special Low Airspace Forum, Sky Road. Mainly for domestic or China-specific. Sky Road means road or route network infrastructure for low-altitude airspace. Issue, no existing Sky Road. The demand for developing low-altitude economy is growing, and the era of large-scale and commercialized operation of drones is coming. However, unlike the dense road network on the ground, there is no existing road network infrastructure, or sky road, for low-altitude airspace. Current practice, UAV operators need to, by themselves, complete the process of airspace application, route planning, risk assessment, etc. After completing the process, a UAV operator may submit the case for approval, and may either obtain the permission or get denied by relevant authorities. All along, the lack of low-altitude sky roads has restricted the low-altitude development process and low-altitude economic development. As for Ehang, this may not be an immediate concern. Initially, Ehang will mainly focus on air tourism over less populated areas where sky road is not needed. For some UAM flight routes over populated urban areas, Ehang or its partners may apply for permission on a case-by-case -case basis. Next, about Special Low Airspace Forum and Discussion Result. Special Low Airspace Forum and Result, Sky Road Manifesto. Development Principles. Advantage Complement, Win-Win Cooperation, Practical Effectiveness, Development Together. Liao Xiaohan, Director of CAAC's Low Altitude Geographic Information and Root Key Laboratory, suggested. Experts from all walks of life in drone industry, academia and research will follow the principles of advantage complement, win-win cooperation, practical effectiveness, development together. Fully rely on science and technology and policies, make good use of the UAV conference and the Low Airspace Sky Road Forum to discuss the scientific method and technical means of efficient operation of low-altitude sky road infrastructure planning and construction. Carry out extensive academic exchanges and substantive cooperation in resource sharing, cooperative research, technical services, personnel training and application demonstration. Discussion areas. For Sky Road, extensive discussions were held on strategic and technical issues in the areas of planning and construction of low-altitude public airway network, risk assessment, operation management, ground air integration, etc. Sky Road Manifesto produced. No specific info available for the Sky Road Manifesto from the media at this moment. The collective discussion on low airspace is expected to provide ideas and concrete measures for speeding up the low airspace reform in China. This may result in a timely reform that Ehang can benefit for large scale UAM deployments in the near future. It is noted. The country's low-altitude airspace management reform is being piloted in many provinces, and the urban low-altitude sky road network is being built to support the large-scale commercial development of drone applications. The low-altitude economy represented by UAVs is also expected to become a new engine for social and economic growth. After obtaining the EH-216 type certification, Ehang can start to significantly contribute to the low-altitude social and economic impact. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.